father go through seasons where they've only won 15 games and 20 games, and people come to the stand saying fire doc and stuff like that, and then he fought through it. You know, if you want to talk about a tough time, you think I'm having a tough time. My father's gone through stuff a hundred times worse, and look where he's at now. So when I have that uh, in my corner, someone like that who's 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 been through all that, I know uh, if he can do it, I got to work hard. I can do it too. So. You talked about the emotions with your father, and you probably had a little bit of emotions on draft night. Yeah. How do you expect both of your emotions to work out tonight when you actually do check into the game? Do you expect to say hello to each other, give each other a hug? or? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I'll probably just check into the game. Um, and I'm just going to try to, you know, like I said, you know, it's not just another game. You know, it is, you know, people can say that, but it's not, you know. Um, I'm just going to go in there and, and try to play, and while well, I'm going to play, just have fun. And, uh, you know, I know there'll be free throws or stuff, or I might say something to them, or just like I do with other coaches I might know around the league, and uh, just have fun with this, man. Just go out there and compete, and uh, go out there and play as hard as I can, because those guys over there in the locker room are going to come after us, uh, especially me, probably. So I got to go out there and be ready, and um, just have fun with this. Austin, your dad's got a pretty distinct voice. What's it going to be like when you're out there hearing him yell, not really at you, but at his team? And what, is that going to rattle you at all? You know, uh, just a little bit, because that's the same type of yell he used <laughs> when I beat up my little brother or something like that, or didn't do my homework. So I know when he's yelling, I'm have to like look back for a second. He's not talking to me. He actually might say something to me. Who knows? <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I, you know, it's one of those things where I think I'm just going to lose myself in the beginning and when things happen or if he does something, you know, I'm not going to pay attention to it. I'm just going to be focusing on what I need to do with my team and, and uh, you know, my coach and my players.